guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I created this look featuring the new Milani Gilded Jade palette. Now they've been coming out with a few different ones. I saw the neutrally looking one that they came out with on Amazon and then all of a sudden this past week they dropped a purple and a green and you guys know how much I love greens and to see a drugstore brand do something like this I thought was pretty bold and pretty daring and I honestly would say Milani is my favorite drugstore brand. I just love their stuff. I love their uh, foundation that they have. I think it's called the Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I love their highlighters. I love their blushes. They make good lip products. Like they're all around a pretty ace brand. So I felt pretty safe ordering this palette online. And I just wanted to swatch this for you before I get into this eyeshadow look. I wanted to wear this highlighter, but I forgot when I ended up doing my face makeup. But I did pop this in the inner corner, and it's such a beautiful highlight. It's, it's, uh, how do I say it? It's definitely like a golden, but it has like a hint of green in it. So it's definitely a little bit unique, which I really, really think is so, so cool. And so there are the two highlighter or face shades, which I think you can totally just wear on your eyes as well. But I just wanted to show you guys those separately. And then here are three of uh, the eyeshadows. These are the first three shades. Let me swatch them. That first brown shade is kind of like a pretty mitt shade. Um, but this lemon lime green is kind of sickening. I didn't realize how beautiful that was until I just watched this. So I have Grounded, Try Me, and Mint Julep. And then I'm gonna swatch the NYX row. So it's definitely like a green and a neutral palette, but I feel like they almost have to do that sometimes, you know, just for people that are, you know, still trying to wear a palette like this to the office. They wanna keep it like somewhat neutral. And then this is the shade I have on my lids. Oh my gosh, it's so stunning, you guys. And this is a $20 palette. Like, I'm pretty impressed. So we have the Envy of Gilded and then Lagoon is that beautiful green. And then the last three shades are all mattes. And I'm wearing all three of these, I believe, on my eyes. Oh, look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? They're a little bit powdery. Sorry, you have to look at my elbow. <laughs> They're a little bit powdery, but for the most part, I thought they blended okay. Um, I'm pretty impressed with this. And now I'm just gonna pop into this eyeshadow look and I'm gonna show you guys how I created it really quick. Raise your hands if you guys are already sick of all the Nordstrom sale YouTube videos and Instagram posts, raise your hands. personally feeling victimized right now. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I was going on about how much I really wanted this Barefoot Dreams blanket that everyone was talking about. It was in my cart and I did the humming and hawing and X'd out of it and it sold out. So I didn't get the blanket I wanted, which was the leopard print one in like an oatmeal color. I found a similar one in like a camo print. So I bought it. I'm hoping that's the only thing I buy from the Nordstrom sale. Anyway, today I wanted to film this video for you guys because I got some new things in from Milani. You guys saw me talking about this palette on my Instagram. I was like, are you serious, Milani? Like, I didn't need another green palette, but if a drugstore brand is gonna launch one, of course I'm gonna investigate this. So this is $20 and then they do free shipping at $30. And of course, I wanted to get to $30, so I bought this palette. Um, which is one of their Gilded palettes, I think this is called. Gilded Noir. It's a little bit different for me. It's very smoky, but I thought it would be kind of fun to use it as like a, you know, fun night out kind of palette. But today I really just wanted to test out this guy, which is the Rich Jade Earth Tone Neutrals and Ethereal Shimmers. It's called the Hyper Pigmented Eye and Face Palette in Jade, I think. Gilded Jade. Uh, yeah, this is like made for me. So my eyes are primed. Here's the palette. I'm gonna swatch it after I do my eye makeup, but I am so ready for this. What color do I wanna put in my crease? I'm gonna start out less bold. So I'm gonna take this giant F12. I think this is a concealer brush from ColourPop, but I'm just gonna put that in my crease. This is the shade Ground and it's like a very 
Actually, I think I'm going to put it in my brow bone because it's such a like light bone colored kind of shade. Okay, I really need to get a real crease brush. I don't know why I decided to go in with this brush. So I'm filming this the day that Angelica posted her haul, her U.S. haul. It was so cute. She like mentioned the little gift I got her. And it was just, honestly, you guys, I feel like I've already talked to you guys about this so many times, but it was just so fun to meet her. Um, she's somebody I've just, like, admired on YouTube for so, so long. And just to, like, be able to call somebody that you watch on YouTube your friend in real life is, like, so cool. Um, not so cool, like, oh my gosh, you know, but it's so cool because I admire her so much like she honestly like really broadened my makeup horizons so it just means a lot to me that I got the chance to meet her and I mean really you know I was telling my husband this as well as his dad I was like what are the chances like somebody from Sweden is going to come to America and end up in Minnesota because like I don't live anywhere near like a touristy city like our friends that live in other states will always say like, oh, we have so many visitors from out of state. And it's because like they live in places like California and Texas where like foreigners want to go. But like where me and Rail live in North Dakota, like nobody is dying to come to North Dakota. Rail's best friend is from Sweden and he's actually been here twice. He came for our wedding and then he also came last summer. He was here for about two weeks and he's like one of our visitors and then um his other best friend who was his best man at our wedding lives in texas and he's been here now three times he came for rails bachelor party our wedding and then he was just here this summer for work and then he just stayed with us so we don't get a lot of visitors from you know like our friends don't really <laughs> visit us because we don't live in like a big crazy city so anytime I can meet people is amazing and I'm gonna go in with the shade Jade which is a beautiful green so yeah anytime I can like meet my friends um, by driving to them it just makes me so happy so a lot of people do kind of come to Minneapolis because it's a little bit of a bigger city so Angelica was there because her fiance was attending a conference and she was visiting and I think um, she knew that was where uh, Georgia was from or lived close to the Mall of America kind of area so it was just so great that that worked out and then I met Rented Fashion and Annette in um, Rented Fashion I met managed to meet in California when I was there the beginning of this year and then Annette is from lives in Vegas so I was able to meet her uh, when I was in Vegas this year as well so yeah I don't usually get lucky enough to like meet youtubers in my neck of the woods I've talked about this with you guys before not a lot of youtubers running around North Dakota I think there's more than I think um but I don't actually know more than like maybe like two or three um there's a lot of like bloggers now in Fargo and North Dakota I feel like you know everyone's a blogger these days with like Instagram and stuff but yeah there's more bloggers than youtubers right now so but I don't really interact with a lot of the bloggers um, cause they're mostly like style bloggers and they rep a lot of the brands like around here, like all the little clothing boutiques and stuff. So it's not really like much to do with me. I do try to mention like boutiques in Fargo that I like that I find stuff at, but honestly, you guys, I'm like a total target shopper. I used to be into boutiques and stuff, but I've also like gotten a little bit bigger like weight wise and a lot of the stores like the little stores here in town cater to more um I think in like the size 2 to like 8 range and so I just find a lot of things at Target mostly. So this jade color is beautiful. I think I got a little too messy. Kind of look like a Ninja Turtle right now. I think it needs some depth. So I'm going to go in with a different brush. And I'm going to go into this shade called That's Deep. It's like a beautiful dark green shade. Let's see if we can get some depth from that shade. I'm just going to pat that onto the outer crease. Ooh, that color is pretty. I haven't really bought any eyeshadow palettes from Milani in a while. I bought those like smaller palettes that they had with the gold packaging back in the day. But I hadn't really tried any of like their Obsession palettes and then they 
been doing some new color stories and stuff. So I haven't really had a chance to try it. This is an interesting formula. It's very, it's like blending, but I feel like it's like almost like messy. I don't know. Maybe I just am overthinking it. It's like very green. <laughs> it's like very, very green. Okay. So now I want to use the lid shade. I'm going to go into, uh, it's called Lagoon. It's like a beautiful green shimmer shade. And of course, I'm going to try it first without wetting the brush. See how opaque it is? Oh, it's pretty sparkly. That's a pretty color. It's like a beautiful shimmer shade. I don't like, I just feel like my eye look is very patchy. Like I don't love it. It's kind of problematic for me. Like, I don't know why the mattes are so patchy looking. I'm gonna wet the brush now with some Fix Plus. Okay, I like how that lid shade looks. So what I'm gonna do is do my base makeup and then I will be right back. Okay guys, so you saw the swatches, you saw how I created this look. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with this palette. If I had to give it a rating, I would say like a seven out of 10. I need to play with it some more just to make sure I like all the other shades, but I think this is a really cool idea for the drugstore, especially once these start going into like your Walmarts and Targets where like regular folk can see it versus like crazy people like me that see something on Instagram and they're like, oh, what? I need to buy that and buy it. Like it's ridiculous how I, how fast I bought this palette and how fast it came. So appreciative of that, but it's cute. I think it's a really cool green palette and I'm so excited to see these colors like trickling into the drugstore so other people can try something new and different and then to score free shipping i also added this guy to my cart so what i can do is just swatch this for you guys really quick as well in case some of you were interested in this i did see this palette on um alta's website so yeah, if you want to buy it on Ulta, I think you can even use their $3 off a $15 purchase. So this is the first row. The shimmers are beautiful. There's Bubbly, Entitled, Roco, Co, and After Party. And then the next row, I just thought this would be a fun like night out type of palette. So that's the next row. I mean, I feel like the pigmentation is really not bad. I mean, these aren't like cheap by any means, but I don't tend to wear like a lot of like drugstore quads and stuff. So I feel like this is just a little bit better quality than that. So we have Don't Ask, Solid Gold, Twisted, and Gilded Noir, which is like a black with gold flecks in it. And then we have the next row. Here it is. Ooh, that blue swatch, really pretty. Let me just put some more red on there. Okay, that's the next row. Wow, these colors are beautiful. This palette totally reminds me of Hannah Louise Posted. I feel like she would really appreciate this. Um, we've got Why Not, Gas, Posh, and No Pictures. Wow, these are really st stunning. Like, I am impressed, Milani. Okay, now the last row. There's two mattes in the last row. <gasps> this purple is beautiful. What? Oh my gosh, look at that color. What? Okay, so that's called Dripping, Fuzzy, Lust, and Dark Side. So there's all the swatches, and this is the Gilded Noir palette, I believe. That's what it said on the box. I bought this on Milani. I have seen it on Alta's website, and they have a red, I think, too, um, that came out at the same time. And then here are my swatches from the Gilded Jade. I'm so excited for the drugstore. I'm so excited for Milani. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'd be so pumped to hear what you guys think. I've got eyeshadow all over me. <laughs> I'd be, I'm so excited to hear what you guys think of this new product by Milani. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in my next one soon. 
Bye guys.